Now, when somebody says the product isn't working, I say to them, oh my God, you are so lucky. You should celebrate. And I mean it because all that means is that your stem cells are working on it. When you put the patch on, it is impossible for the stem cells to not work. So they're working. You may not know where they're working. And all that means is they're working on a product, a problem you don't even know you have. Maybe you have a kidney issue, a liver issue, a heart issue, dementia starting in your brain. And that's where the stem cells have gone because they're smarter than us. And they're going to where there's the problem. And if you're lucky enough, you may never know the problem that they corrected before you had the symptoms. And I, I know that's true. And I so believe that. And if the person I'm talking to doesn't, I say, well, you know, I understand you're not going to continue. We all make choices. And I've made lots in my 80 years. And some were good choices. And probably just as many weren't good choices. But we all have the freedom to make choices. And all I know that if you give yourself a month for every 10 years you've been alive, you'll have a miracle. Actually, you'll have many miracles, but it's a commitment. And sadly, in our culture, many people wait till they're sick. And when they get a bad diagnosis, they'll sell their house. They'll sell everything they have to get well. And I, I've watched it. I'm 80 years old. I've watched a lot of people get the diagnosis that they were dreading. And there's no stern, stone they won't leave, that they'll leave unturned. They'll go to other countries. They'll, they'll do anything and to handle that problem. It's so interesting, Carol, isn't... though, that what your point is that, you know, people will wait. And yes. that's truth. Because... <clears throat> Well, I think that it was happening long for, for, you know, centuries, people, you know, not getting care that they needed. But I think literally since 2020 happened, um, our mindset is such that we were shut. We weren't allowed to go looking for help, which really kicked in a lot of serious, serious conditions in so many American people. And I think that um, you talked about the loneliness too. And I think that that also was a humongous, um, oh, you know, reason for all of a sudden we have this collective loneliness mm -hmm. and what you are, um, I just have been sitting here, you know, having one of my own conversations in my head about you, about what a miracle you are in that. I know a lot of 80 year old people and older and they don't have the spunk or the spirit or the energy that you do. And I believe that that is partly because of the X39. And oh, I guarantee it. I guarantee it. And somebody asked me yesterday, does it hurt when I get out of bed? You know, it would if I didn't wear my patches because it used to hurt to get out of bed. You know, I'd have to be out and stretched and move around a little bit to feel ready for the day. But now I'm out of the bed and I'm ready to go. And, uh, you know, because I wear Eon at night right on my third eye. And I wear X39 and X49 at least during the day. Someone mm -hmm. said, how many patches can you wear? I said, well, as many as you feel like you need today. And I said, you know, we kid in our group of looking like reflector poles. We have so many patches on. <laughs> And so it doesn't hurt you to put another one on because nothing is going into your liver and causing any upset with anything else you're doing. And every patch you have sends a different pulse to a different part of your body. So we know the X39 sends a pulse to your GHK copper peptide. And if you're wearing the sleep patch at night, it's going to your melatonin center. And I don't know all the patches and where they go, but David does, and they're going to the right places. And another one of my funny stories from being in this business is I have a girl back East who um, is married to a very successful, very, she says, A, A, A plus personality, meaning he's difficult to live with. <laughs> and so she says, but you know, Carol, I figured when I put the, the X39 and 49 and the Nirvana patch and the supplement at his place and he takes it and I take it I'd almost marry him again <laughs> I think 
that's hysterical. <laughs> so it's just amazing how we can alter the moods of the people around us. And I feel so sorry for young people today. Their world is so messed up from COVID and, you know, what they can do, what they can't do, that I think all of them need to be wearing the patches. When you look at what I think they say, one in three teenage girls has committed or has, has entertained the thought of having committing suicide. Right. That is terrifying. That's so I think if you're a grandmother and you can afford to send it to your granddaughter and or grandson, they need it. And and I'm I just think that there's a lot we could be doing for people that are really suffering. And and maybe suffering to the point they can't tell you. And I feel especially committed to the older people because if you don't have anything to do but play bridge or canasta or I'm I'm not very athletic, so uh, uh, what's the new hit that all everyone's playing? Something about balls, oh, pick, pickleball, pickleball. That's it. I've never even seen. It. But if you're, you know, for me, being a basically not very active person, um, at some point you've got to get tired of that. I've even had men that love to golf say they at some point get tired of golfing, and this gives you a real purpose. And Nina, who's on this call called me one time and said, you know, finding out that my blood work is so much better than my age, which at the time was just around 80. And now the doctor thought that she was, if he hadn't seen the age, he would have thought she was in her sixties. She may not even remember this. She said, Carol, what you, what this has done for me is given me a reason to get up and get dressed and get outside and start talking to people. Cause I know I have something really valuable to share. And with that, I'll say that my husband had a stroke and I was still working and earning the living. So I couldn't stay home and take care of him. So I had him in a home and I spent two and a half years uh, visiting him and taking him out every day and seeing the life of people in, in care homes and all this brain, you know, people that had done great things in their lifetime, sitting in these homes, hoping for their children or grandchildren to come and visit. And they'd wait. And then, you know, once a month or once a week, the the loved one would make the obligation to come and visit grandma or grandpa. And those visits would last about 20 minutes. You know, in the meantime, everyone everyone in the home knew that Sally's grandchildren were coming today and and everyone helped pick out her what they liked best for her to wear to see the grandchildren. And she's all primed for this long visit. And guess what? She has nothing to say. Hi, Grandma, how are you? Fine. What's new? Well, the biggest thing going on in those homes is what's on the menu for the next meal. That's right. They, they have nothing to contribute. They aren't doing anything. They're, you know, they, they just, just don't have anything to contribute versus The people in LifeWave that are, I'm going to just be nice and say 65 plus, we all are learning interesting things, things that everyone would like to know if they, if they knew that ask us. So now you have meaningful conversations with people and things that are of interest to them if they're open-minded and if they're not, oh, well, but I mean, you're not just this person sitting, watching the clock go around and waiting for your number to be clocked. So I just am so grateful for all of us here to be, and, you know, they tell you to keep from Alzheimer's, you need to be learning new things. Well, crap, I'm learning how to unmute so I can be on this call today. (laughs) I knew where it was in one place, but I was unmuting one place, but it was down in the corner. I had to unmute. But anyway, so I'm always learning and that's challenging lots of the times, but fun on the other hand. And so I think it is such a gift for you to share this business with somebody and people aren't always going to take to it, but those that do are really blessed. I think whether you make a dime or you don't make a dime, if you, when I started, I wanted every patch I saw. So I wanted to know how I could make enough money to buy the patches that I wanted. I sure didn't need another bill at the end of every month. So (laughs) that was my goal was to earn enough that I could buy the patches I want. And now Praise God, I'm earning enough that I can send patches to friends of mine that can't, aff- can't afford them. 
And it, it, it just, this just fills me with joy. And joy keeps you healthy versus depression and feeling lonely and feeling un like you have nothing to contribute. So many of the discussions I had with nice people in these rest homes were, I don't know why guy, God is keeping me alive. Well, I know why he's keeping me alive to help other people get well. 